Hi everyone, welcome to Hubu Cooking Channel. Today we will be making a Korean dish with sweet potato noodles. It's called japchae. Let's begin. Actually, preparing japchae is a lot like preparing bibimbap because we're gonna stir fry a lot of veggies and meat. So first of all, we're gonna slide the beef into thin strips. Then marinate the beef with a tablespoon of garlic, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and a teaspoon of sugar. Then we're gonna mix really well and let it set for at least half an hour in the fridge. To cook the noodle, we're gonna need to bring the water to a boil. Um, cook the noodle for about 5 to 7 minutes until the noodle turns soft yet still chewy and then we're gonna dump out the whole pot wash with the cold water and drain then transfer into a large bowl which we use for mixing all the ingredients later on and because the sweet potato noodles are pretty long so I'm using a kitchen scissors to cut them into shorter section. Now it's time to prepare all the veggies. Actually, the more colorful the bell peppers are, the better the noodles gonna look. So try to pick as many colors as possible. Now we're gonna take out the seeds, then wash and slice them into thin strips. Also slice other veggies like um, onions, green onions, carrots, and shiitake mushrooms. The next ingredient to prepare is spinach. We're gonna wash them carefully and then parboil for a couple of seconds. After that, wash with cold water to cool and then squeeze out all the water remaining. Next step, we're gonna slice them into small sections. Then put them into a bowl and season with a pinch of salt, some sesame oil and roasted sesame seed. Mix well and then add into the bowl of noodles. Now it's time to stir fry the ingredients that we just prepared. And we're gonna do it separately. You're probably wondering why don't we throw everything into the pan and stir fry them together. Well, that works too, but you know, every single ingredient has its own cooking point. So if you cook them together, one may get overcooked, one may get undercooked, and that's not what we want. So just try to stir fry them separately and you're not gonna regret it. Last but not least, let's cook the beef. We're gonna sear the one side and then toss for a couple of times. Try not to overcook the beef, otherwise it's gonna turn tough and chewy. Alright, now we are done with the cooking process. For the finishing step, I'm seasoning the noodle with a tablespoon of sugar, three to four tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of sesame oil. Now we're gonna mix everything together thoroughly but gently. We don't want to break the veggies but we want them to be evenly distributed. There you go. 
a beautiful, delicious, and healthy noodle that is really hard to resist. To enjoy the noodle, just sprinkle some roasted sesame seed on top as a finishing touch. So I really hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to share what you cook on Instagram with hashtag Hung Cooking. See you next time!